Welcome back to our YouTube channel. If you are new here, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest content. Welcome. You may think your phone is safe if you avoid bad apps, but the truth is, they can spy on you without installing a single thing. This is a serious issue that affects everyone, regular people, company leaders. It is important to understand how this happens. This guide will show you how spies get into your digital life. We will look at the tools and tricks they use. These methods are clever, but you are not helpless. Understanding the threat is the first step to protecting your private information. Remote phone monitoring means someone can see your private information from far away. They do not need to hold your phone. They can see your texts. They can read your emails. They can see your photos. They can know where you are. This can happen without an obvious trace, no strange app icons. It feels like a ghost is in your device, watching everything. Fishing is a common trick used by digital spies. It is like a fisherman using bait to catch a fish. The spy sends you a message. This message might be a text. This message might be an email. It looks real. It might pretend to be from your bank. It might pretend to be from a delivery company or a friend. The message will try to make you feel urgent or scared. The goal is to trick you into clicking a link or giving away your private information, like a password or a credit card number. A phishing link can take you to a fake website that looks just like the real one. When you sign in, you are giving your login details directly to the spy. They can access your account, steal your money, even your identity, and read private messages or track location. Some links are dangerous by themselves, triggering hidden downloads, profiles, or exploiting vulnerabilities. Protect yourself, check the sender, look closely at the address or number for tiny misspellings. Never click unexpected links. Type the website manually or use the official app. Legit companies never ask for passwords by text or email. This simple habit can stop most phishing attacks. Public Wi-Fi is very convenient. Coffee shops, airports, hotels, but it is also very risky. You share a network with strangers. Some might be spies. They can intercept data you send and receive. A common attack, the man in the middle. A spy sets up a fake hotspot with an official sounding name. You connect, thinking it's legit. Your traffic goes through their device. They can see the sites you visit, usernames, passwords, cards. Even legit Wi-Fi can be risky. If a site isn't HTTPS, your info is plain text. HTTPS encrypts it. Look for the lock and the S. On open networks, spies can inject fake logins or ads to trick you. Avoid sensitive tasks on public Wi-Fi, banking, shopping. Use a VPN to create an encrypted tunnel that blocks snoops on the same network. Turn off auto-connect to open networks. Choose manually and verify names with staff. Small choices on public Wi-Fi protect you from big problems. A SIM swap is a very personal and dangerous attack. Your SIM links your phone number to the network and to your device. A criminal tricks your mobile company, pretending to be you, claiming a lost phone, asking to activate a new SIM. They use leaked personal info to pass security checks. Your SIM is deactivated, theirs is activated. Your phone loses service. All your calls and texts go to the attacker. They want your codes. With your number, they reset passwords, email, bank, social, even crypto. Defense, add a strong port out pin or password to your mobile account, required for any major change. Don't use easy to guess info. Avoid SMS 2FA when possible. Use an authenticator app or a security key instead. Lock down your number before someone else does. An IMSI catcher pretends to be a cell tower. It broadcasts a strong signal so nearby phones connect to it. It records your phone's unique IDs, silently. No notification. Your phone appears normal. They can track location with precision by watching when your phone connects. Advanced units can intercept calls or texts, especially if traffic isn't encrypted. They can hide in a backpack, a car, or in public places, casting an invisible net. Best defense? End-to-end -end encrypted apps like Signal or WhatsApp? Intercepted data is unreadable. Use encrypted calling inside these apps. It's safer than regular calls. If you're high-risk or targeted, turning the phone off is an option. Encryption turns their net into noise. A zero-click attack is advanced. 
and scary. It requires zero clicks. No link. No download. You do nothing. The attack happens silently in the background, exploiting hidden flaws. Targets can be the OS or apps that parse incoming data, messages, images, calls, notifications. A crafted message triggers the flaw, runs code, and installs spyware, camera, mic, messages, location. Pegasus famously infected phones by simply sending a message, no user action, no visible alert. The device becomes a 24-7 surveillance tool, often undetectable. Defense. Keep phone and apps updated. Install security updates immediately. Developers patch these flaws. Restart your phone daily. Reboots can disrupt some infections and force attackers to try again. Not perfect, but it makes persistent access harder. Cloud backups are convenient. Photos, messages, contacts, and more autosave. Lose a phone, restore everything. But once in the cloud, your data isn't just on your phone. If spies get your username and password, they don't need your phone. They get creds via phishing, breaches, or buying them. Then they download your entire backup. Texts, photos, contacts, even location history. Standard backups. The provider may hold encryption keys and can be compelled to hand over data. Protect it. Use long, unique, complex passwords. Never reuse. Enable strong MFA. Prefer an authenticator app or a physical key instead of SMS. Enable end-to-end -end encrypted backups if offered, so only you hold the key. This closes a major remote monitoring door. Your daily habits are your best defense. Technology helps, but caution matters more. Think before you click, the golden rule. If a message seems strange, it probably is. If a deal looks too good, it is. Slow down. Review apps regularly. If you don't use it, delete it. Fewer apps, fewer doors. Check permissions. Does a game need contacts or mic? Turn off what's not needed. Minimize data exposure. Be private in public. Limit who can see your posts. Don't share number, address, or live location. Update everything, always, OS and apps. Enable auto-updates for critical security patches. Hackers hunt unpatched devices. Don't be one. Consistent habits build strong walls around your digital life. The threats are real, but not unbeatable. Spies can monitor you without installing an app. Phishing, public Wi-Fi interception, SIM swapping, I'm Psy catchers, zero-click exploits, and cloud account breaches. Each has a weakness. And you know them now. Summary. Phishing. Credential theft. Verify and avoid suspicious links. Public Wi-Fi. Data interception. Use VPN and disable auto-connect. SIM swapping. Account hijack. Set a carrier pin. Prefer app-based 2FA. IM Psy catchers. Call text spying. Use encrypted messaging. Zero-click, device takeover, update and reboot. Cloud breach, data leak, strong unique passwords, and MFA. Take 30 minutes today to do this. Add a carrier pin. Switch 2FA from SMS to an authenticator app. Enable end-to-end -end encrypted backups. Remove unused apps. Protecting your phone is as important as locking your home. Awareness. Updates. Habits. Take control today. Your privacy depends on it.